Now I'll come back to this in a minute because you can see everything's starting to disappear because it is literally live updating right now. So we're going to have the newer information in just a moment. And unfortunately, we have the latest update on what's going on with the software. As you can see, the big robust system. Matter of fact, you can see the latest information coming in from the satellite. It's moving even faster now. 23 miles per hour motion going northwest now. Now it's going on that northwestern push. 934 millibars. Wind still 168 miles per hour. Now we're showing, unfortunately, a little bit further to the north, Jamaica, showing chances for this to remain a Cat 4, as is going to you. So it's starting to believe that higher end, going towards 136 miles per hour, sustained winds, potentially, as this comes by you. You can see that the Cat 2 and Cat 3 are stronger winds, is moving further to the north. This is going to be pretty much the worst case scenario, Jamaica, so please pay attention. Cayman Islands, you're definitely in the tropical storm wind field. It'd be very easy to be in that hurricane wind field also as it goes across the Yucatan. Still showing it remain a strong hurricane, maybe weakening down to a Cat 1 after Yucatan and staying a Cat 1 right over the islands. Now that would change the trajectory also. And you can see the latest showing it still would be more likely a tropical storm in the western Gulf with a chance at the last minute to turn towards southern Texas. I don't believe this much of the turn, and this over here is becoming less and less. The agreement is over in this direction. I know it's a lot of changes, I know it's a lot of different information, but this is a strengthening monster. I will update you this afternoon. Make sure you click that bell. Thank you to everyone who helps share this information, get this in front of others, and let them see all the data. Thank you so much. Latest information from National Hurricane Center, Invest 96L has weakened all the way down to 30%. Matter of fact, it is getting attacked by some dry air from the dust. Now, Major Hurricane Emily was a Cat 5, July 16th, 2005, going right by Grenada and the Grenadines also. You can also see that it strengthened up right before the Yucatan, but look at the path. Right where we're seeing in the model data of where this storm is going, I will show you the ensembles. They're still predicting a western Gulf of Mexico. It took away a little bit of that eastern push, but this is where Emily went, and we're seeing potentially the same thing that's going to happen with Barrel. Showing that the path is going to still go right towards northern of Jamaica, then take that westward push and go towards the Yucatan. Still showing it's going to get hit with that tut, that upper tropospheric trough, and give it a lot of shear. It's going to wind it way down, but then it has a chance to intensify again as it goes to the western Caribbean. Look how it goes by the Yucatan and starts going on that curve. Starts getting a little bit closer towards the west, northwest, instead of the southwest. So literally it has multiple directions that it can still go on in a smaller confidence of this way as it's passing by. So we will see the latest information this afternoon. I will give you an afternoon update. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that bell and select all. That's the only way you will get the updates. That's the new way YouTube does it for this year. Showing the newest information from Automatic Tropical Cyclone Forecast Model that it will be going by Jamaica 36 hours away. So by tonight, this is your latest time to get any preparations. It's gonna be coming early tomorrow morning. And you can see the track is convincing that it will be right on southern edge of you, maybe on the eastern edge. It's still trending right on you. And you can see as you're going towards 72 hours, going towards a Yucatan, threatening Cancun and other people. Then as you go towards five days, here it is in the Gulf with a wide variety of where this storm system could be in five days. But you can see on that trajectory, it could be going in this direction. You can see now with the ensembles, the latest information. It did take away a little bit of that eastern. Now, if it strengthened up and stayed strong and fought through the tut, all this year coming from the upper tropospheric trough. If it's strong enough, it could fight it and really get it away while it goes. It could still downgrade a little bit. But if it strengthens up and stays a major hurricane, which some of the intensity is showing, it would still intensify and go right over Cuba. Then that would go into the Gulf. Still, the majority is agreeing that it's going to take this path right past Jamaica, the Yucatan, then we got it right here in 96 hours, right past four days. It starts getting crazy at that point. All we know now is a Yucatan. 
So now looking at the Canadian, you can see the Canadian is still showing the latest model run going right towards northern Mexico. But the average is showing it still would do a curve right towards Texas. And you can see the ensemble still showing a little bit further to the east. You can see this with the euro as well. Taking that westward turn, showing with the ensemble, it will still make that turn and still showing a lot of strength. All this right here, all that pink and that red of intensification, all this is very much major hurricane going towards a cat five again and you can see with the gfs they're all trending a little bit further to the west still chances for it to go to louisiana me myself i think it will still go to the west through mexico still with this information you need to watch out anywhere from southern texas all the way to the southwestern louisiana this whole region still needs to be on alert for what could potentially happen with barrel it's not set in stone yet Hopefully, unfortunately for Mexico, but hopefully it still goes to the west. Unfortunately, that would bring a lot of bad impacts towards you in Mexico. More flooding and more rain. So I don't wish this upon you. I just don't wish it upon us, that's all. You can see on the latest intensity map, as we go towards 36 hours, definitely a major hurricane, Jamaica. More like it will be a Cat 3 major hurricane. It will be on that weakening from that tut. A little bit of dry air behind it also, but all that shear is really winding down. Still, you got a major hurricane coming right towards you. As you go towards 72 hours towards the Yucatan, you can see it's, it could still be a Cat 4, but that's what it's showing also as it goes towards Jamaica. Not likely showing it either will be a major hurricane towards the Yucatan or will be on that weakening state, a strong Cat 1 to a weak Cat 2 also. Then after the Yucatan is showing in five days, it could still be a strong tropical storm to a weak hurricane. That's what is favoring. I did wait for the update on Barrow, and you can see the latest update on the winds. That as it goes towards five days, as it goes across the Yucatan, it could either still be a major hurricane or a tropical storm on a weakening phase because of the, of the tut, because of the shear, dry air, because of land interaction. I believe it's more this one. More ensembles are believing the tropical storm more than still a major hurricane. And you can see after that, it could be on a weakening phase and just disappearing altogether. Now you can see that the high pressure still brings it right over the Yucatan, still showing it's going right for you, Jamaica. This is the European. And showing it will get that westward push from that high pressure, bringing it around to the west. And you, if you notice, it don't break free and leave open the chance for it to go to the north it don't get open till right around saturday night then it has the opportunity to go north somewhere but now you have this big high dome of heat that's circling around over this direction remember i told you about we getting this trough you don't get this high dome of heat this is going to be record temperatures coming to y'all a lot of hot temperatures i will update you on that it's looking pretty severe but at the same time you can see it has a hold on this wave it's not free to go north and then when it finally gets free and you get it over here it's already to the southern and towards the western side of the gulf and it don't have much time to go north and the latest run of the european does take it to the west going right into mexico even though the ensemble's average trend that it will do that turn we have not seen it yet now when you look at a hurricane model as you can see this it is showing the intensity that we are seeing with barrel and as it goes across all that shear from that tut look how quickly that weakens down right below you jamaica still a strong hurricane but a lot weaker than what it was showing that it will go right towards yucatan like the euro is showing get all the way down to still a strong hurricane but still go right into the bay of campeche and still push that west northwest push you can also see this on hurricane analysis forecast system b is taking it further to the south which would definitely push it out latest update on a rainfall is showing more rainfall so you can see over here for hispaniola dominican republic for haiti chances for four to six inches of rainfall and all of that yellow even getting chances for six to eight and that orange right there and look over here for jamaica it has raised up you got one to two inches expected in light green two to four in a dark green you're getting four to six on the eastern and southern ireland and chances for eight to twelve in that dark orange of very heavy rainfall still on the eastern of the islands showing in the caymans you can be anywhere from two to four all the way up from four to six in that yellow as it goes towards the yucatan bringing one to two inches 
two to four inches in the dark green. This could get heavier as it gets closer. Now something I wanna show you as far as the Icon models. The Icon model shows it will go right by Jamaica. It will start weakening down a lot weaker than what we're seeing by other models and showing it could possibly go that west, northwest to northern Yucatan where it could still stay strong and possibly go right into the Gulf towards Louisiana. Now, I know the icon is showing this. This is not the trend. Matter of fact, you've seen these two ensembles showing the northward push. That would have to be rapid intensification to take that northward push like that. So this is what it's showing. Maybe a chance for it to go north, but the ensembles are not agreeing to this. When you look at the latest update, it takes it further to the west. You see that? Still trying to turn in but it takes it further to the west. So Louisiana, Mississippi, I know that it has showed on a previous run. You could have potential impacts. I do not believe that. If you see that today, do not believe that. That is not the trend. Now, if we go by that, you can also see the rainfall amounts and you can see as it potentially goes towards the Gulf, but you can see the rainfall amounts as it goes towards Jamaica. This is with the Icon model. You can see also with the Ural going on the same path, bringing good amount of rainfall now gfs is still taking a weakening still showing heavy rainfall showing less winds it's showing that tut really wears this system down but you can see where all the rainfall is going according to these models also the winds you can see the winds going right towards the gulf as it weakens down potentially into the gulf according to the icon model and you can see it also for jamaica bringing those very strong winds still showing anywhere from 100 to 115 miles per hour plus coming towards you you look at the euro you're going to see the same thing a little bit of a northern push this morning and you see it does get pulled by the high pressure going to the west not what the icon model is seen i'm sure you are going to see that today and gfs still takes it weaker less winds but still on that same path coming right for you and you can see it is also showing that westward push. So I know you'll see the Icon model. That's a lot of people that wants to put maybe that potential fear into you. The Icon model is not trending. Only two of all the ensembles is showing that a fact. So do not believe that if you see that a westward push is trending. Matter of fact, I'm still showing a great weakening and a going away. So here you are literally in 30 hours, they're in agreement according to tropical cyclone locations with the Euro. There will be a little bit of that northward push that we saw last night going towards Jamaica. In 36 hours, getting impacts on Jamaica, 48 hours going right by Jamaica. It could be northern, it could be center, or it could be southern. Showing on this run as you go towards 72 hours, going right towards the Yucatan, still have two areas of location. Right towards the Yucatan or a group a little bit further to the north, you can still see it all still goes to the west as you go towards five days. So it's not showing that push that you've seen with the icon model, but literally in five days, it is so spread out, it's hard to say where this is going still. And you can see afterwards, it's just a wide variety of where this possible locations could go as we go towards six days. Starting to agree so far towards six days, could be more towards Southern Texas. Showing in the ensembles as it goes towards Jamaica in 30 to 36 hours. You can see the control member right here showing a direct hit. You can see the other ones, you see lots, a lot of strength and a lot of weakness. Now, as it goes by Jamaica, you can see on the control member, it shows a lot of weakness. You can see a lot of these show a lot of weakness. We got a few that shows it'll stay strong, but a lot of these is showing weakness after that. Not only the tut, we have a low pressure system that's going to be parking over here by the Bay of Campeche, and that is going to be putting a lot of shear on there and really weaken it down. Plus the dust is kind of catching up to it a little bit. And after it goes over to Yucatan, still showing it will be something very weak. While we're still seeing some of the model data is going towards Texas, a little bit of the Western, look at a majority of these showing it will be something weak after it goes by the Yucatan. And as you go towards five days and beyond, shown by the control member, it will start dissipating and go away. But you can see with the other models that it potentially could go towards southern Texas, maybe a little northern of Texas, but this is not the trend. The trend is what you see in the control model showing a great weakness in these ensembles 
of what could be the outcome after Yucatan. Now we'll do an afternoon update. Make sure you click that bell and make sure you select all so you get alerted of it. We do have severe weather for today, so I will touch this just a little bit. As we go through this afternoon, we do get a bad, nasty group of storms that comes for eastern Nebraska, comes in for Iowa, also for northern Missouri, showing some very high winds coming with that as that pushes all even along into southern Minnesota, southwestern Wisconsin. Then as you go for tonight, it moves over into southeastern Iowa. This is where the winds really start to pick up as you're going towards 9 o'clock. Going through Wisconsin, going through southeastern Iowa, going through Illinois with them storms, and northern Missouri as well. Then it pushes off later this evening. It really winds down. Then for tomorrow, it's going to burst right back up. So I will show another forecast for tomorrow. Today, I'm just going to show for your severe weather. For tomorrow, you can see the same area just where your warning was, just like I showed you yesterday, where these storms are going to start brewing up. Bring your chances for damage and winds and chances for hail as well. The chances for tornadoes will be in the central plains. Showing on your 15-minute increments that it will start bursting up around 2 o'clock this afternoon for eastern Nebraska. Going through Iowa, southeastern Minnesota, through Wisconsin. Then you get a little burst right here of potential wind gusts coming through this system. So it could get a little bit stronger later. Also, northern Missouri. And you see that does push to the east, just like we're seeing as we go through 9, 10, and 11 o'clock tonight. Bringing some winds with it also. Showing maybe 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts in the orange. You also see some for the Dakotas, for Wyoming, for Montana. But picking up for northern Missouri, southern Iowa, from 50 to 60 miles per hour plus as those storm cells come through this evening. And bringing you chances for hail. Showing your best chance for hail is northern Missouri, going through central and eastern Iowa, maybe going all the way towards western Illinois. So for today, you do have a chance for tornadoes. You have a 2% and a 5%. It is going to remain in this area where all the winds are. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for a tornado threat for today. Also, you have chances for damage and winds. Even your 30% right here is where we've seen all those high winds. But here's your cities and states at risk for everyone in this risk for today for damage and winds. Also, your hail threat. Remember, I did show you the best place is going to be right here. Also, a 15% over here towards the south central. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today. National Weather Service has scattered severe thunderstorms are more likely over southern Iowa, northern Missouri, and northeast Kansas. Between about 2 to 9 p.m. Central Time, damage and winds, a few tornadoes, and large hail are the expected hazards. Now remember, just because you have that hazard don't mean that you will have them. Now as you go through for tomorrow, it starts picking up all this rainfall that starts adding up for northern Missouri, Iowa, southern Minnesota, going through Wisconsin, western Illinois as well. But as you go for the next system that comes through still for Thursday all the way through Friday, bring a lot of heavy rainfall. And this is bringing a good chance for flooding of two inches of rainfall in all of this region. Thank you for your time, everybody. Jamaica, make sure you get your preparations. Tell your neighbors, tell everyone you can over there to get ready because this storm is coming your way and it's coming faster and faster. I will see you this afternoon for the update. Before you go, Hebrews 6, 10, and 11. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Amen. Hope everyone tries and have a great day today. I know it's very hard with all this bad news. Unfortunately, I'm sorry for bringing you bad news. I'll see you this afternoon. Remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Please, Lord, weaken this storm, for we do not want to see another hurt person. Amen.